everyone welcome back to my channel today we'll be learning how to make a super mario game part 2 in scratch 3.2 so now let's get started first we'll make modification in the script of mario we'll take this go to block in another if block like this and now we'll go to variable section and we'll add the block set level to 1 in the beginning when the flag is clicked now we'll go to the bottom of the script and take the if block after set up to 0. Yes, in the cell of the if block we will put touching the sprite named level changer. Level changer, then we will change level by 1. And we will take another if block and inside the cell of the if block we will take the equals to sign. In the first cell we put level, level equals to 2, then We'll go to the motion section and take go to X this and Y this. And events will take broadcast a new message named change position. Okay. Now we'll make modification in another script of touching green color. So if touching color green, we'll put an if block inside change X by minus 10. If equals to sign if level equals to 1 then change x by minus 10 if level equals to 2 change x by 10 now we'll do the coding for the ground sprite for the ground we'll take when the flag is clicked forever two if blocks by duplicating it and in both of them an equal to sign and level in both of them in the first cell level equals to 1 and level equals to 2 if level equals to 1 we'll switch costume to the first costume costume number 1 if, if level equals to 2, then switch costume to costume number 2. That means the second costume. Now we'll do coding for the bricks. When the flag is clicked, forever, if block, another if block beneath, two if blocks, that means, equals to sign in both of them again. In both of them, in the first cell, we'll put the level from the variable section. Level equals to 1, level equals to 2. Then we'll go to motions and take the go to block, go to x this and y this and show. And if level equals to 2, then hide. Now we'll do the coding for the mystery brick. We'll make some blocks. First one, name collect mystery coin level 1. L1. Okay. Now we'll define this block later on. We'll make another one named collect mystery coin l2 that means level 2 okay now before defining them we'll do some code we'll go to the event section and take when the flag is clicked that means in the beginning of this project we'll go to look section and take the show block that means it will show itself go to x this and y this and switch costume to the first costume costume number one and collect mystery coin L1, level 1. Duplicate this code and change the if block by when I receive level 2. Like this. Now we'll define the blocks. Collect mystery coin level 1 forever if, if touching Mario. Then we'll take another if inside it. For this if block, we'll put in the cell equals to. In the first cell of the equals to block, we'll put costume number equals to 1 then we'll take the broadcast block and broadcast coin after broadcasting coin we'll switch costume to the second costume that means the blank mystery box and then we'll take the block stop all change it to stop this script now we'll duplicate this script for define we we'll collect mystery coin level 2 now we'll do the coding for the mystery coin. So for the mystery coin, we have to just do some coding. We'll start sound coin when the coin is collected. And now we'll take when the flag is clicked. When the flag is clicked, we'll go to controls and take the forever block. Inside the forever block, we'll take two if blocks. In the cell of the if block, we'll put the equals to signs in both of them. Like this. Now we'll put the level variable in the first one cell. In both of the equals to sign, we'll do like this, level equals to 1, level equals to 2, go to x this and y this, and in the second one too, 
Now we'll do the coding for the coin. So for the normal coins, we'll just add the sound, start sound coin and start sound coin when collected. Now we'll do the coding for the enemy, the Goombas. So for the Goombas, we'll take when the flag is clicked. Let's zoom in. Go to X this and Y this. And then we'll go to controls and take the forever block. Now we'll take the glide position block, glide for 6 seconds to X this and Y this. And then we'll take when the flag is clicked forever. Inside the forever block, next costume for the animation and wait for 0 0.3 seconds for smoother animation. Now we'll take when the flag is clicked again. After when flag is clicked, we'll take the if else block. Inside the cell, we'll put equals to. If level equals to 1, then we'll go to look section and take the height block. Else height. If level equals to 1, then show. Else height. When the flag is clicked again, forever. Inside forever, if block. Inside the cell of the if block, we'll take touching Mario, then we'll take another if block inside, inside this cell of the if block, we'll take the bigger than sign. If, we'll change it to Mario, if Y position of Mario is bigger than minus 123, like this, then we'll change coins by 1 and hide. Else, we'll take broadcast new message named hit. So we'll go back to the code of Mario. We'll broadcast the message hit when I receive hit. When the Goomba hits the Mario, we'll take the if block, two if blocks for both the levels. If equals to block in both of them, level in both of the cells, like this. And we'll change to level equals to 1 and level equals to 2. If level equals to 1, go to x this and y this. If level equals to 2, then go to x this and y this. Now we'll go back to the code of the hurt screen. So we want to give the player an indication when it is hit by the Goomba. When the flag is clicked, height. When I receive hit, then we'll go to look section and take the show. Wait for one second. Change this one second to 0 0.3 seconds for a little time. And then hide. Now we'll do the coding for the second coin in the second level. We'll zoom in. When I receive level 2. When this sprite receives level 2. Then we'll take the show block from look section. And the go to block, go to x this and y this. Forever, inside forever, if block, in the cell of the if block, touching Mario, then. If touching Mario, then, we'll take the hide block. After the hide block, we'll take start sound coin. That means the coin is collected. Change coins by one. The preview of the coins, it will change by one. When the flag is clicked, after when the flag is clicked, we'll take the hide block. Now, we'll take the flag is clicked again. Forever, inside the forever block, we'll go to looks and take the block from looks. Next costume, wait for one second, change it to wait for 0 0.1 second for the animation of the coin. When the flag is clicked again, we'll take forever. If inside the cell, we'll put the equals to sign when this clicked forever if level equals to 2 then we'll put broadcast a new message named level 2 now we'll take the stopper block and change to stop this script now we'll duplicate the first enemy for the second enemy in the second level we change the when the flag is clicked to when I receive level 2. Like this you can change the whole code. 
duplicate it when I receive level 2 and remove when the flag is clicked. Now we'll add one more code in the second enemy. When the flag is clicked, hide. In the beginning, it will hide itself. Now we can test out our project. Man can walk, jump around, it can kill the Goombas, it can collect mystery boxes, it can even collect normal coins. Again, it can collect coins, mystery boxes, and it can even collect the Goomba enemies. So, if you like the project, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For more such videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye, meet you next time.